The way we think that this may actually affect practice would be that patients that um, generally know that they have either uh, germline or somatic BRCA mutation right at diagnosis. And I think this trial gives us confidence that we can actually add the PARP inhibitor at that point. Now, we did see a benefit, and it wasn't part of our primary analytical population, but if you look at just the BRCA population and all the non-BRCA patients, we still saw a benefit to the use of this drug during chemotherapy and continuous maintenance. So I think that the way this will impact practice will we'll, we'll really, really be focused around how physicians look at the treatment strategies that they have planned for patients and if they're planning a neoadjuvant approach or they're planning a, uh, a, a chemotherapy alone approach, this particular addition of a PARP inhibitor can benefit their patients.